Hello viewers, welcome to another revision of mathematics. Today, a topic we're going to handle will be linear motion. Well, uh, I came across a given question that has been troubling a lot of students to answer. Now, let's take a look at the question. We're able to understand the question. And the best way to understand the question is to sketch it down in your own language. To me, I use diagrams. Just take a look. Now, we are told that a bus left town A to town B. So in that diagram of yours, picture town A to be somewhere here and town B to be here. Now we have a bus and the bus is leaving town A to town B. So this is our bus. What is the speed of the bus? The speed of the bus is 60 kilometers per hour at 11.45 am pausing the next part is the matatu and the matatu is leaving town b towards town a on the same day the speed of the matatu is 90 kilometers per hour and the time the matatu is leaving town b to town a is 1 15 pm the distance between town A and town B is 540 kilometers. With interpreting the question, when you look at the time the bus is leaving town A, is 11.45 a.m. And the time the matatu is leaving town B is 1.15 p.m. It therefore means between 11.45 a.m. to 1.15 p.m., the bus was moving and the matatu was stationary at that point. So let us get the time difference with one and a half hours. Now, the next thing we're supposed to look at is what is the speed of the bus? The speed of the bus is 60 kilometers per hour between 11.45 a.m. and 1 15 p.m. Yes, we can do that. And that distance is given as speed times time. Therefore, times 3 over 2. Therefore, the distance traveled by the bus will be 90 kilometers. Therefore, means between 11.45 a.m. and 1 15 p.m., the bus traveled a distance of 90 kilometers. Now, at this juncture, we have calculated the distance the bus has traveled. Now, what, at this point, we are able to notice that the distance between the bus and the matatu is 450 kilometers. And this is at... 1 15 pm when we have two bodies and all of them are moving at the same time and in opposite direction we are able to get what we call a relative speed now if two bodies are moving in opposite direction in order for us to get the relative speed we simply sum the speed of each and every body that will give us the relative speed Therefore, the relative speed of the bus and the matatu will be 60 plus 90, which will be a total of 150 kilometers per hour. This is the relative speed of the bus and the matatu at the same time, and that is at 1.15 p.m. Now, we already have the distance, these two are supposed to cover and the distance between them is 450 kilometers now are we able to get the time these two bodies are supposed to meet the time the two bodies are supposed to meet when all of them are in motion is distance which is 450 kilometers all over the speed which is 150 kilometers three hours it therefore means these two 
vehicles met after three hours. Now remember, we have not yet answered the question. The question asked the time of the day. The time of the day these two bodies met will therefore be from... Now, the time these two bodies met will be 1.15 p.m. You're supposed to add three hours on top of it. Therefore, at what time will these two bodies meet? The two bodies or the two vehicles will meet at 4.15 p.m. Now, how will the four marks be awarded? The first mark will be awarded at this point. This is where you'll get your M1. For calculating the distance the bus has traveled between, between 11.45 a.m. and 1.15 p.m. The second mark will be awarded at this point where you'll be able to get the relative speed. Then the third mark will be awarded at the point where you'll be getting what? The time. At after how long did these two vehicles meet? And finally, the final mark will be awarded at the correct answer. When you calculate the correct answer to be 4.15 p.m. Number two, part B of the question. Part B of the question. And the question asked, how far from town A did these two vehicles meet? Two bodies met after three hours. And the time of the day the two bodies met was at 4.15 p.m. Now, which of the two vehicles is traveling from A towards town B? We notice that the bus is traveling from town A towards town B. Now, at what time did the bus leave town A? The bus left town A at 11.45 a.m. And the bus met with the Matatu while it's on its journey to town B at 4.15 p.m. There. If we try and calculate the time difference between 11.45 a.m. and 4.15 p.m., you will notice that the time difference will be four and a half hours. And remember, the speed of the bus was 60 kilometers per hour. Therefore, we are able to get the distance the bus had to travel when it started its journey from town A to the point where it met the Matatu towards town B. Therefore, that distance will simply be speed times time and that will be 60 times. Now, let me convert this time into improper fraction and that will be 2 will therefore be equivalent to 270 kilometers. It therefore qualifies me to say that the bus covered a distance of 270 kilometers before it met the Matatu. The first mark you'll get at this point where you will show accurately how you have calculated the distance. And the answer must also be correct. Therefore, this will be two marks. Part C of the question. And the question simply asked, how far outside town B the bus was when the Matatu reached town A? The first thing we need to do is to calculate the time taken by the Matatu to reach town A. Remember, what is the speed of the Matatu? The speed of the Matatu is 90 kilometers per hour. What is the distance between town B and A? That distance is 540 kilometers. Therefore, the time the Matatu will take when it starts its journey from town B towards town A will therefore be Distance over speed, and that will be what? 540 over 90, which is equivalent to 6 hours. So at what time now of the day did the Matatu arrive at town A? Remember from the top of the question, the Matatu left town A at 1.15 at 
p.m. It arrived to town A six hours later. So when you add six hours to 1.15 p.m., you will notice that the matatu will arrive at town A at 7.15 p.m. So the next thing we need to do here is to calculate where was the bus at 7.15 p.m. from town B. That is what we need to do. The bus left town A at 11.45 a.m. Therefore, we want to know after how long is it between 11.45 a.m. to 7.15 p.m. What is the time difference? The time difference will therefore be 7 hours 30 minutes. Therefore, when I write this into fraction form, the time therefore will be 7 and a half hours. Remember, the speed of the bus is still 60 kilometers per hour. Therefore, are we able to get the distance the bus has traveled in seven and a half hours? The distance will be speed which is 60 kilometers per hour multiplied by time which is seven and a half hours. And seven and a half hours in improper fraction will be 15 all over two. And then 150 kilometers. How far from town B? Remember the bus is traveling from town A towards town B. And the bus has already covered 450 kilometers. The distance between town A and town B is 540 kilometers. Therefore, are we able to get the remaining distance so as to answer the question how far from town b and that will take us to the last part of the question which will be 540 minus 450 kilometers to give 90 kilometers therefore from town b to where the bus is at 7.15 p.m. is 90 kilometers. Remember, the bus is only left with 90 kilometers to complete its journey when the Matatu has already arrived. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again next time. Bye.